Cuéntame toda la noche, no nos queda mucho tiempo más. No quiero perder lo que queda. Seguimos siempre la pasión y confiamos solo en el amor. No quiero perder lo que queda. Y más y más allá. A través de la gran oscuridad. Hasta que me convierta en rayos Y en más y más allá A través de la gran oscuridad So, I work at Amazon. I'm actually part of the Ops Tech IT team, which is just like operations IT. Um, aside from that, uh, I just pretty much game. Uh, I'm at home with my fiance and four cats and taking care of our newborn son. We are here today for the Corporate Esports Association Overwatch 2020 Spring Playoffs. It is going to be a spectacular day. I'm through most of it, only does get one as the Blizzard comes out on the backside. T also going to find the Dead Eye onto Specs on the high ground. Google has to press on the pedal to try and touch this point. And they're not! Oh, it comes up short! Amazon Fire Force will be able to take Moskaya Industries. CEA to me is like an organization that pulls together a lot of these like top companies around the world. I think it's like a, a great team building uh, function. And then also it's for a great cause, it's for charity. And since two members showed up in the top lane, they're immediately gonna go for the dive in the mid lane with the damage on the Pandora. They're gonna be able to pick up the kill twice over for Apocalypse. Everyone else is gonna be running for the hills. Nobody wants to be able to join in this fight. With the minions there, the Baron's still on everybody. This is gonna be the grand finals for Team Amazon Stock Tip. They've got the money. $5,000 for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. They have secured it for themselves with a 3-0 victory. Yeah, so like losing to Adobe was like pretty heartbreaking. I got like the second place trophy in the mail. I'll see it like uh like every day and like it's like a reminder like you have to do better. You always have to like like somebody out there is better than you, like you should always try to be the best. 
Uh, but like, what, we're definitely gonna come back uh, way stronger, way better. We don't want to <laughs> drop another game during the season. We definitely don't want to lose in grand finals. Adobe Illustrator taking this next map. your matches but it's a swift format so these teams are going to get closer and closer to each other and as we approach the matches near the top they're going to get more and more competitive we might be getting some of that already <laughs> indeed we may you know we saw a lot of good plays last week um there was a double core lineup run they had a juggernaut and a medusa this was on uh, microsoft's team which was silver edge lords so they had yeah as i said juggernaut and medusa and the juggernaut was so fed that game i think he ended up with 16 kills or something and just you know had so much momentum backed up with darkseer rubik and lion so they had a lot of crowd control two big cores and you know it was a really strong performance it was a fun game to watch i hope you guys managed to check out the stream so you know we're hoping to get that sort of quality of game today as well I uh, really pick a Medusa. It's brave, even even in the mm. year 2020, in my opinion. It's like we're going out there. We're just gonna we're gonna win this, and we don't care about you. <laughs> and also, yeah, Medusa's as, not great now. Uh, it's not fun. As we also get into the get into the tournament deeper, we need to start talking about some of the wonderful charities these teams are supporting. That is one of the biggest aims of this tournament. After all, teams raising thousands of dollars. For their chosen charity with amazon web services are being are back in doctors without borders the social network back in the women's law project in philadelphia i like it i like it when it's specific sometimes you know yeah everything yeah. everything worth a good cause at the end of the day of we're course, waiting for course. our teams to get into our lobbies bit by bit they make their time online tournaments they really be like that sometimes yeah that's just the situation of it isn't it but um, we've got one team already, you know, ready yeah. to go. We're just waiting for the other captain to be brought into the lobby, and then we should make a swift start. It's a lazy little Saturday sometimes. Like you've had you ha you've had your seven days, you had your five days, and it's like you've been woken up. I woke up at four p.m. today, so it's great. You get woken up, and you're just like, oh, Dota, Dota, guys, get the team together, put them all up. I'm yeah, I'm hoping right most people who I'm are. Uh, it work. <laughs> I think most people who are, you know, these guys are professionals working a, you know, pretty high intensity job. I'm hoping they're not work, waking up at 4 p.m. on but, the but weekend. That's what you, you know? do on the weekend. You sleep Is that what? Catch time? up on all the sleep. You make it there. Yeah. <laughs> all right, the teams are joining the lobby now, yes. so it looks like we'll be making a swift start oh. to this game. Already looking at some of these players, we have two level 2K battle passes on the Amazon Web Services team. 
Um, I may only be a 1k, but these people, they're, they're beating me in every regard possible. On the other side, social net worth. Oh, we got level 1k's there as well. It's fine. Wow. We're going to have a Seb showdown, I think. Both teams pretty much almost ready to go. Yeah, they've said it's, ready we, when we, you are. We, we, we're ready. We're going on it. No, no. They, almost, no, almost, they, almost. They have, they've now been joined by RD to do to our players, which I think plays at exactly the same time as this event. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's uh, RD2L plays. Place. Was formerly the Reddit Dota 2 League. Um, now they they keep the R and they don't know what it stands for in the name. And I'm assuming well, some of these players are friends of these two different tournaments. And uh, the whole, right, whole okay. team just flies into the lobby. Well, they were ready. At least ready to go. Maybe not quite the right they're tournament. Ready to, but... they're, re they're ready to play some Dota. That the thing is the competitive players playing like rd2l they might just beat every corporate player out there we're here for fun are we at the end of the day and then we just bring in these competitive people who actually have a prize pool on the line on rd2l flying in maximum velocity and it's like no 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 this is the charity event this is the charity event leave yeah it's a charity event but you know the players still they have that aspect of competition they are taking it seriously as well they do want to win these games you know and they are trying their hardest too so you know it's fun friendly but it's still got that element of competition Pick me poke <laughs> yeah, Meepo yeah. is not great in this meta either, to be honest. Neither is Medusa, but they won with Medusa, so so you know. we, we can do it all. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, I like to see the sort of far out picks that aren't in the well defined meta. I don't know if you've been watching the, the, the other pro Dota that's been on today, but there was Zai was playing Silencer Position Three, and they won oh pretty convincingly. And happen. he went two wraith bands. Yeah, you know the Aji <laughs> item, two wraith bands on a Silencer. Pause three. It was quite strange, and he still won the game fairly easily. So you know, there's a lot of room for experimenting in Dota, which is why we like this game after however many years it's been out. Nine years now. <laughs> Nine years and still crazy stuff happens. Still, people sometimes pick techies. They still think that's a good idea. Ah, uh, the golden years when techies wasn't in Dota. Was that two years? <laughs> First two, three years? Can't remember. There was some good times. Dota two really do sometimes bring up surprises like we're gonna release techies on the eve of ti4 <laughs> oh, yeah. to be honest like Every, everybody think... cheered when that happened but was it they really did because thing? we just we wanted new heroes in the game and techies are so iconic but i think they've reworked techies into a much more f enjoyable state before oh, when dear. everything oh. was about stats you know stacking mines now at least he's got that sort of aggressive play style you can oh, OG techies was the most frustrating thing in the world when you just run over 50 red mines at level one and you think how does this happen to me oh yeah you tp into the lane straight as soon as the game opens you tp straight into the lane and you just start placing mines so by the time they get there they're already being one shot ah oh, good times so apparently we had some not player Apparently, no, no. we have some stream audio issues, so I'll just recap. Last week, we saw Silver Edge Lords from Microsoft take on um, Bias for Ganks from Amazon. Amazon may have lost their first match, but Amazon Weeb Services is now ready to try. Add one E to the name. Fantastic. Amazon Weeb Services, who did pick up a win last week in their game, taking on Facebook's The Social Net Worth to bring back some wonderful honor to their company and to their chosen charity. Indeed We're just about getting our teams ready in the lobby. Right now, Amazon's here. Facebook's slower. Use that info however you will. Ooh, okay. actually calling out the teams as well. To however you will. Oh. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Amazon much... were very prompt, to be honest. They got here straight on time. All five of them in. Team name enabled. They're just, ready like, to go. Just, just like how they deliver to me. True. Amazon Prime right up in this lobby. <laughs> We have not, I've not been paid by anybody involved. Yeah, true. <laughs> I have not no been paid by anybody. Both these teams went 1 and 0 oh in their last games. Of course, it's a wide league. We only get to see one of the games every week, but it's a Swiss league for the big, for big early portions every single week. Teams are being matched up based against ones that won similar scores last week, which means as a result, teams with close performances, they're going to start getting closer and closer. These matches are going to get closer and closer as the weeks goes on. I'm already looking forward to seeing one and one games, to be honest. Both teams on the one, both teams looking to get make that 2-0. Oh. You, That's when you start fighting for it. Really, I mean, I'm used to being that guy that fights for to get one win out of his measly little bottom of the bracket uh -huh. pickle. I don't really get to see what life's up like up in the higher echelons of the Swiss. 
Yeah, I think the reason Swiss, I really enjoy the format is because you're sort of building up those wins. You know, you've got one win, two win, three wins. And then sort of the stakes get really high. You're playing against another team. You know also haven't lost the match. And then you get some really, really good competitive Dota. So it's the opposite on the other end, where um, you, we, we're every week you ask yourselves, is this team going to be reasonable to play against? Is this team going to be reasonable to play against? And I have to tell my team, like, well, they did lose all of their other games. That's all I can tell you. I'm really sorry, sir. We're just going to have to do this again. I mean, the games ideally get more balanced as the weeks go on. So you get yeah. less of those sort of one-sided <laughs> matches. They did, and more they did not get balanced for <laughs> when, when, I played, when I played some competitive Dota, okay? It was actually just getting harder every week knowing these teams had lost more and more games. Oh, and still being defeated by them. I oh, mean, well, some, yeah. someone has to win, right? Someone's got to win. Let's count the thousand levels we have in this lobby, actually, because we have, um, we have one 2K on Amazon, two 2Ks on Amazon. So that's, um, imagine, four of these. The, you know, these are your lovely Aegis counters. Um, I'm just flexing on stream because this is all I have left for myself. Um, <laughs> and then, you know, we have one of the, one of the people. Oh, no, that was one of the RD2L players who um, accidentally joined the lobby, was going to add another one, but I guess that's not happening. Um, and here comes um, the third flex. <laughs> yeah, more Where's this one high battle passes coming oh. into the lobby. One of them has a Facebook guild. That's oh, pretty yeah, good. Yeah. Facebook and friends. Very nice. Open to Facebook and friends. Do not talk about work stuff here. <laughs> Always a good policy, I think. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep the work, you know, Monday to Friday. We're here Monday to, to Friday. Dota. Sat Saturday Dota. Sunday Dota. Monday. I would say back into the office, but you're not really back into the office, especially in Silicon Valley, you know, like and a lot, lot of companies working from home right now in that area. So really, it's more like I'm on my computer and I have to stop myself from opening up Dota. I have work to do. <laughs> yeah, I, true, true. I'm not the kind of person to work from home for that reason, because Dota and Hearthstone are like right there. And I just have to sit there being like, oh, no, oh, no, I, I've got work to do. Yeah, working from home was a struggle for me too, so I'm glad that I'm not but working from home anymore. The Silicon Valley loves it, and they, they sure be good at it, because some of these people are actually well-adjusted, and meanwhile, I am here casting Dota 2. Very big difference between these two groups of people. Yeah, if, like if, you work at, <laughs> if you work at Facebook or Amazon, you know, you've made it into the business world, and you've actually succeeded, and then um, I'm here, here casting Dota from my bedroom, so... I'm yeah, just... so am I, but I've also got a full-time yeah. job, so, you know, anything's Richie. possible. You have confidence in yourself. That's all that matters. <laughs> looking for, <laughs> looking for one last player. We're, I'm, we're still getting play. praise for your mic. I, for right. my your mic. Your mic is so nice. I it's mean, a, yeah, it's a, you know, not to, not like I've got a sponsor deal or anything, but Flex. it's a HyperX podcast. It's a nice mic. It's um, about the same cost as the Yeti. I had the Yeti before and I really liked it, but my Yeti broke, and I thought, well, I'm going to try a different mic this time because might as well. And it's the same cost and. It sounds as good, so I'm very happy with it. It's very red, as you can see, and you can't Spare change part. the redness. You have to just accept that you're going to be very red <laughs> when you use it. I, so. I would pay extra for an RGB mic that, like, hooked up yeah. with all the Corsair software, and I could just, like, make go rainbows at all times. Uh, yeah, that would be cool. Unfortunately, they haven't added the RGB feature into this microphone yet. Maybe one day. And if it's not RGB, it's red. That seems to be the pattern. I mean, all of my equipment seems to be red. I don't tend to buy RGB. I just buy red. So everything is just glowing red. Even I'm wearing a red shirt as well. I've just gone full like demon mode today, full Sith. So, so you suggest you've been watching some Pro Dota. What do you think are the meta trends that we might see in this game coming up? If the, if the, if the players have been paying attention, <laughs> what, what have been what have been the heroes that stood out to you in the past week? If you've been watching any exciting Dota? Well, I've been watching a bit, but. I haven't watched some of the most recent stuff. I watched a lot of the Omega League that had, you know, a fantastic production value. I really, really like this patch. You know, we've had so many patches in Dota where one hero has kind of dominated everything. Like, oh, this is the sniper patch. Okay, now it's just Storm Spirits. You know, Alchemist is really strong, etc. Uh, always Chen, Wisp, whatever. But this patch, you can pretty much get away with anything. As we saw from POS3 Silencer, everyone was thinking, what is going on? What Silence is not a POS3 hero. And yet he did really well. You know, so many heroes are viable in this meta. I know there's a lot of Terror Blades, Spectre's still strong, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, Ember Spirit, the standard. Um, but I think there's there's a lot of opportunity. I, I, pretty much my hot take is that Spectre needs to stop being strong. I don't care if she's 
too strong. I don't care. She's just stopped being strong. Well, she's quite um, countered by Viper. And Viper's also fairly popular, so I think that kind of puts her in check Viper's a little not, bit. Viper's not fun. He's fun when you're winning the game as the Viper. He's not fun when you have to play against a hero who's you know got a 600 range poison attack that doesn't even aggro just, the creep I just, wave. I just toggle Q and click <laughs> and click and click when I could be playing my base Storm Spirit. Zippity zappity, where did my mana go? I'm dead. Every Storm game. Storm Spirit, I love Storm Spirit. Yeah, <laughs> I love He's Storm. Not too popular at the moment. He but... is pro game the hero for me and for everybody else. <laughs> Um, he's a little bit like that, yeah. Yeah, he's, it's very easy to accidentally find yourself out of mana in the middle of the enemy's tier 3 tower. At least I can't throw as Viper. Like, I kind of know what I'm doing. Yeah, he is more straightforward, but I believe he's got a high skill cap in a different way. You're always going to win the early game pretty much as Viper. It's not, not impressive if you do. But then how do you take that early lead and actually move it into the mid game? Because Viper doesn't scale as well as some of these other heroes. So I think that's actually the real challenge on Viper. So, you know, I like to give Viper players some credit, but maybe that's because I play Viper. So I'm, you know, trying to defend myself, make myself feel less bad about picking that scumbag hero. <laughs> so it's late over here, but we need to, we need to reference it's around midday in Pacific time. Um, it'll be a few hours later in, in Eastern time. Uh, maybe some people did oversleep. I mean... <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Some people are saying in the lobby chat that it's 12 o'clock for them. They had to set an alarm. <laughs> I, I would I'm set just an, an alarm bird, just so. to see CEO Dota, and it's the first thing I wake up for is just get out of bed, not even breakfast, straight to computer. <laughs> Charity Dota, like a grandma. Just like just wake sit, up, just like oh, rub your eyes, and then just on the PC. Dota, open straight up. You probably got it on startup, haven't you? You just turn your PC on, Dota just comes straight up. Yeah, and I, have to, I have to turn it off. <laughs> oh, we have another level 1k! All is fine in the world. That is a third one. Just had to flex it on cam just for all of you. Because that's all I have to live you, for. Are you flexing your agises? Yeah, it's all I have to live for. <laughs> oh, we'll I'm sorry one, that see? I've applied for a third one. It was gold this year, so I had to. Well, I hope we get some good voice lines in the lobby. I always find that exciting did, and did you, bit did of you fun. Know that Valve still have an updated agis icon next to players' names. It's still green. Really? <laughs> it, did, it did update it last year when it was purple, and now this year it's gold. And they've not updated it, it's green. Oh, well, you know, the janitor's busy. <sighs> yeah, the janitor, he, he, has a rough, he has a rough day. He, when he has to write, when he has to, like, write his one blog post of the day. Um, yeah, and those localization files take a lot of effort, you know? It's like, you know, got to update those localization files every once in a while um, for every language i don't know how we i don't know how we can do it basically i i couldn't work on a game as big as dota 2. no he is certainly a busy man all right i think we left for dead got its update this week yeah that was left for not dead um, but that was mostly community driven but somebody content somebody had to push it to the server and make the blog <laughs> post that's where yes. the dota 2 janitor went true he had to quickly write the left for dead update into steam <laughs> But yeah, yeah, the community did a lot of work on that. Publish on that? Come on. Oh, we're getting, we're getting into, into the lobby. game. Alexa, show us the draft. <laughs> Straight away with the Amazon jokes. I love it. And you see, I was going to stop the Amazon jokes. And you can very clearly see when Alexa does show us the draft that Amazon Weeb Sirs' flag is literally Jeff Bezos' face. I didn't it. want to say it, but it is. Although it's half of Jeff Bezos' face. The good half. Yes, yeah, the one with the bald head. And quite frankly, that's the luscious half. Yeah. <laughs> one eye, bit of the mouth, one ear. It's good enough. We're into our draft. Talk to me. Any, anything Im immediately interesting about the bands or... I yeah, mean, I think Earth Spirit first ban is quite interesting. To ban Earth Spirit, I mean, oh wow, these picks are so rapid. This is what we saw last time. These players, they know what they want and they pick it. We've already got the Jakira. They've not thought about it and waited for their first pick. Bans pick instantly. So, you know, they've obviously got a strategy. 
I think they might have banned Earth Spirit, so let me think about this. I'm in Amazon Weave Services. Ten yeah. seconds remaining. Because as much as I hate the word weave and identifying with the word weave, five um, seconds remaining. You know, I feel like I'm in their head more than I'm in the on social networks. Because social, no, can't deal with that. I'm in their head. <laughs> okay, Earth Spirit is a player called Earth Spirit on the other team. Can't have that yet. He oh probably yeah. He plays Earth Spirit. Has to go. Wind that Ranger. could be a massive bait, though. It could be a massive bait that you call yourself Earth Spirit to ban a hero that actually you want banned. Yeah. It's genius. It's next level. And then it's like, it's Wind Ranger. You saw the preseason game. She has to go. Yeah, that's so, true. That's just cool. Scary Wind Ranger plays. She just has to go anyway. Yeah, I'm playing. Wind Ranger has to go. That's my uh, non negotiable. It was like right. for any of the. It's like this is going to be a really, really, really obscure one. For any league players in the chat, I'm really sorry. When I played Draven, Caitlyn had to go. She had to go. Boom. Gone. Yes, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Too that's much enough, range. Yeah, that's, that's enough Caitlin. of league. That's enough of league today. Back to the Dota. <laughs> Amazon Weave well, is taking longer for that pick. Yeah, so I don't know if it's the social networks just have that sort of go to. Like, we want to pick a support in the very first hero, which tends to be quite common. So they've decided, right, I'm going to go for Jagiro. Whereas Amazon Weave Services might be thinking about their entire lineup in advance. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I'm still expecting a, a support to be picked for the first pick, maybe Rubik. That would be Maybe. my prediction. Um, whatever's happening, I hope that the captain is connected and their computer is working. Haha. <laughs> Teasing. No, that's a really bad curse. I've jinxed it now. Radiant team. Oh, here we go. Oh, they are here. Pugna. Talk to me okay. about that. First pick, Dyer Pugna's quite interesting. Look how quickly the social networks respond. They knew they wanted Tiny. They, they oh, weren't waiting to be fair, to Mr. Kira and Tiny, you could first pick those two heroes for life. I'll just take it. Right, what Underlord Pugna says to me is that they want to push, right? They want a lineup that could group up five man potentially. Underlord will pick up all the auras, you know, um, Crimson Guard or, or Pipe, Guardian Greaves. Pugna, he can just spam Nether Blast on the towers. So the Amazon Weep services have already, in my eyes, decided, right, we're going to have a five man remaining. sort of push lineup. Um, that's at least what I'm seeing. Whereas Shakira and Tiny, it's maybe more focused on ganking, rotating, and team fighting potentially. But obviously, it's only two picks in, so can't paint a full picture yet. Two weeks might be a long time to remember, but remember Dying Firestorm. Firestorm discourse. We did this on preseason. Sometimes you just want to press Firestorm. Radiant team ban. Oh, you certainly do. Juggernaut press was uh, he was pretty huge on stream last week. So that could be a reason for the ban, or it is just a pretty good core. Not surprised to see that ban. And the Vengeful Spirit is a hero I never, ever, ever, ever have remaining. success with, even though everything about her on paper is amazing. Um, she's Dyer just like that one support, ban. which I just, I can't do it. Um, but obviously she... on paper, just having the double swap is good enough to define a hero. And the plus attributes for everyone. Haha, -ha, stats go burr. That's all you yeah. need. <laughs> I mean, Venge, I think, like you said, just existing is enough to make her effective, Ten right? But remaining. I feel like to play her, at, like to get the most out of her, is, is actually quite difficult. It's, it's a fairly remaining. tricky support to play because you've got very short attack range. Your spells have a high mana cost. You're not in. Radiant oh, it's quite difficult. Back. Yeah, and swap usually gets you killed, which is not ideal. Sometimes, there you go. sometimes you just want to spend a game watching the respawn screen and thinking I helped. The, yeah. The face well, of Void Ban. There's some synergy with a Jakiro, but that's all that really was so back. far. It wasn't huge. I guess they're just scared of the hero? I wouldn't pick Void into Pugna usually because Pugna is pretty good. Decrepify your ally or decrepify the Void, heal your ally. It's, it's quite annoying to deal with. But Void is still a very meta core at the moment. So, And as you said, it does combo with the Jakiro Macropire. I think it's a sensible enough band. 10 anyway. seconds remaining. And the Drow on the other side. I mean, Ben remaining. and Drow, both gone. I feel like they. They, 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 are they predicting something coming out of this Amazon team, maybe? Yeah, I think I think in the second phase, you're likely to just ban a lot of cores. And Drow is always annoying to deal with. A very, very strong lane hero with those you know, 630-odd range frost arrows that don't even aggro the creep wave. It's, it's almost as bad as Viper. So I can understand just wanting to get rid of it no matter what. <laughs> And Amazon, Dyer they've got through so much reserve time. This is actually quite concerning for the draft. You only have 30 Radiant seconds reserve pick. time left in your whole picking phase. Oh, Luckily, that pick was fast. I guess they knew what they wanted from it. But it is also an unusual pick. We've not seen a lot of trolling 
many places do terribly well, or are you about to just prove me completely wrong? I just, I've not seen it. I'd like to see a troll do well. I know he's, he's very capable of Ten doing it, but I feel like troll is a hero who maybe wants to see what the opponent matchup Five is before picking remaining. it, because he's very, very good against certain cores, but he does struggle a lot against others, and he is easily kited. So maybe they're really confident in their troll player, or maybe, you know, they believe it's going to counter a hero the enemy team might pick, but could be a dangerous bird pick. It's just that, you know, you're running into counter city at that point. And immediately, yeah. you know, going for a hero that quite likes being hit repeatedly by trolls or axes. That's makes true. Makes me think. Makes me think. Ten Sentar, seconds War remaining. Runner. I mean, they've got, they've got a, quite a lot of disable already, the social network team. They can Five lock down anyone. Remaining. All three of their heroes they picked have some way of locking you down and stunning you. Generally just being annoying like that. Meanwhile, Troll and Pugna, they like running around. They don't like being stunned. I mean, does anyone? But... Yep. It's, uh, I'm very interested in seeing where Amazon bring this draft to finish it. I mean, what I can see immediately from the social net worth is that they have three heroes with stuns. Right, the Dire, they've just picked, Dazzle. Amazon Loop Service has just picked Dazzle, so they've gone for a fourth hero that doesn't have any hard control. So yes, they've got Slow from Pugna, you've got Root from Underlord, you've got Root from Troll Warlord, you've got Slow from Dazzle, you've got no stuns. Whereas the social net worth already have three stuns. So, you know, lack of lockdown, to me, remaining. I'd be thinking, right, we can get away with a very, very mobile hero now. Five seconds you know, remaining. akin to Storm Spirit, something like that. But, you know, we'll see what they might decide. They've got still new two minutes of reserve yeah. time, so there's no hurry it's, for them. It's two minutes versus seven seconds. You kind of have all the power <laughs> in this draft right now. And really, I've, I've been thinking, like, which team has maybe has the odds going in. They're both 1-0, and o, so we don't really know. And then I realized, that, is that the real GH on, on the Facebook team, do you think? Do you think he works? Oh, of course. Face Facebook yeah. as a side gig. Like, yeah. <laughs> both a pro on one end and occasional just Facebook software engineer that makes enough money anyway on the other Man, side. I he'd think be a superhuman well. if he could do that. That would be amazing. He decided, I've won enough Dota tournament money. This one can go to the charity. Razor. Okay. You were saying, Razor. you were saying, you were saying mobile hero. Mark Razor isn't mobile. He's a little speedy. So, and you know, it's nice to have him run around and not be stunned. So you, you were kind of like halfway there. I, I agree with that. I mean, Razor's really fast. One of his abilities is literally just go remaining. faster. Does nothing else. It's just go fast. That's all the ability does. So Five yeah, it's really remaining. nice to go fast. It's also pretty good against Troll Dire Warlord because back. he runs at you and you know goes berserk, gets lots of attack speed. What's a load of attack speed if you've got zero damage? So I can definitely see Razor working this lineup. It's just so infuriating. There are some heroes you just don't want to play Troll against where it's like, okay, I can't play anymore, so any Halberd carrier. Centaur could just buy a Halberd whenever Ten he feels like it in this remaining. game, which is potentially concerning for the Troll because, like, you just that's the one Five item you just hate to see it, you know? You press R and, oh, I can't play. Sorry. Five seconds of just, a few seconds of just, I just can't, I just can't do anything now. Yeah, it's Halberd is three seconds on melee heroes oh, and five seconds yeah. on ranged. But if you're a troll and you are scared of a Halberd already, you could maybe go for the Sand and Yasha Satanic build, which will take the Halberd down to about two seconds thanks to the status resistance. So maybe he can think about that. You're right, it is still a very annoying item, even after Ten the nerf is still being remaining. picked up by pretty much everybody. So yeah, it's a struggle five for, for seconds cause. Remaining. Step one, um, press R. Step two, leave the game in God's hands. He will truly decide as Troll Warlord where where it goes. One last yeah. ban, one last pick. We saw the Spectre and Ursa bans. Amazon a little bit scared of these uh, some of these cores. Whereas the Facebook team, they picked up the OD ban, which is an interesting one. Um, but also the Magnus, just trying to avoid another big bastion of long-term stun. As you said, this Amazon team don't really have it right now. So. The Radiant team pick. Yeah, I think Magnus is a really good ban because you don't want someone buffing the Troll Warlord, giving them the crowd control they need and giving the Troll Warlord more damage and cleave. That is not something you want to be dealing with. So I think it was an intelligent ban. And finally, the Ricky. Um, I, I've Ten notably said on remaining. stream once, uh, Ricky is a garbage hero and you should never pick him. On the very Five week that Ricky remaining. actually started becoming like a proper meta hero. I just okay. didn't understand him, man. I don't understand him, but actually he can be really just irritating and nasty. Um, yeah, he doesn't get invisible sticks, but oh, man, as it always used to be. He'd be blinking. Basically. He'd be blinking. Oh, the good old days. The good old days of pre pre invis six Ricky. 
We all hate no. all the old 90s kids Dieting. remember that. No, no, no. Don't give me that level one. It's permanently in this Oh, no, no. Yeah I, yeah, I meant the, the six, level six in this. I just oh, can't think right now. Yeah. I can't think right now. This is why you're play by play today. I can't. Right. The, um... Yeah, Ricky's abilities have gone round in like a complete cycle. Every ability almost used to do something else. Ten it's seconds it's like he's kind of the same hero, but they have reworked him a lot. So Five I think Ricky's a pretty remaining. good hero at the moment. His laning is insane. Anyway, the social I... net worth have finished off their lineup with a Void Spirit, so it does bring them a little bit of crowd control. They've got, well, I mean, a little bit more crowd control. They've got the, the remnant Choose there. Your hero. And Amazon Weep Service has responded with Queen of Pain. <laughs> so they think, yeah, Okay, I think Queen of Pain can work. There's a lot of crowd control, a lot of stuns on the social network, so he's going to have to be careful, that player. But it's a lot of damage. Rounds up their lineup nicely. At least she has Arcana. That's true, that's <laughs> important, right? I mean, we these did, guys I are mean, flexing yeah. their battle classes, right? Of course. Do I need to bring out the Aegis again? The camera can't even see me right now. I'll just do it again. But some just got... I like that you had them all in, in like arm's reach. <laughs> I, I made sure to bring them down just for the stream. Okay, okay. From that shell. You've got to have the props ready. That's true. i got nothing Dota interesting to uh, to show off, unfortunately. Maybe is I should. That a, is that a G8 Void Spirit? Ten seconds remaining. What a pro. Well, expecting big things from him. I mean, when you name yourself after a pro player, you're kind of setting yourself up for that expectation, right? <laughs> Absolutely. You're going. You're going deep. You're going in. Looks like every hero has been picked. Let's it's go. Right. I, I, I set off someone's Alexa apparently when I made the joke the first time. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to do it again. Alexa, uh, start the game. I mean, one of the teams is called Alexa Zeus Old now. So every time we say the team name, it will set off someone's Alexa. Last season, there was an OK Google team. And as someone with an Android phone, I was like very, <laughs> very scared of having to potentially cast that because I'm, like, my, phone, my, my phone's coming off. Normally, normally. Oh, Last straight one. in there. That's 1,250, that voice line. It's pretty high up. Well, they really just took, they really just took those pennies away this year. <laughs> Ooh, the silent Amazon Weeb services. No response there. Let's get going! Yes, we shall. So I always just check the items at the beginning just battle. to see if there's anything unusual, any hero going to a lane that we wouldn't expect, but it looks fairly standard. We're going to have Queen of Pain up against the Void Spirit. Um, looks like the tiny bottom with the boots of speed start with the Razor as well by the side. Is that five tiny? Or four, more like. I think, well, Jakira's going bot as well, so I feel like he's going to rotate to top after maybe a first blood. But they've taken four heroes bot on the dire. Holy moly! Yeah. Level one toss. <laughs> this is going to get hot and spicy, I think. You don't take the level one toss unless you have some confidence there. You're going to throw someone back. They're not quite aware of the four heroes. No. Just toggling the vision, neither team can see each other. Oh, but now they've seen them. Enough Sebs, we need to hear Rally and Cry. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, it's they all grouped up, but no smokes were used, I don't believe. Unless I missed that, I wasn't paying attention. No smokes were used, so they're just going to walk into each other and back off. So a fairly passive start to this game. Tidy's already got it hunted, it looks like. He's already in the dire yeah. jungle. He's got like some kind of he wants, he wants. He's looking for battle people. Begins. What does he want? He wants a courier. That Tiny wants a courier. Queen of Pain's Queen paying of attention. Courier. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, yes, Being she's paying crow. attention. She's paying attention. <laughs> she knows what's going on. Still a nice little gambit to go for that, though. With the boot start as well, you do chase out the courier. And this does lock down the Queen of Pain's ability to get items delivered. And as we can see on the ground on the dire base, a full Bezos face is just looking, <laughs> looking seductively at us. Well, if you wondered which side is Amazon Web Services, now you know. <laughs> Not, like, they don't even embrace the weave meme, they just go straight in with Jeff Bezos, they know who they are. They go full Amazon. Indeed. Fight on bot lane? Uh, they're just trading a little bit. Razor's not particularly strong at level 1, but as soon as he gets to level 3, that's when he becomes quite scary with the rank 2 static link. And up on this top lane, it looks like we have the Chikiro and the Centaur. So the Chikiro is staying top to take on and harass this troll down with the dual breath. Well, that's an interesting matchup. I guess they wanted one melee, one ranged hero in each of the two lanes. That's why they've got 
the sort of tiny Razor combo bot. It does synergize quite well actually, if you imagine that the Razor can stack it link on someone. And Tiny can toss them back towards him, so he can just keep stealing damage from him. Bit of a fight going on the top lane. Dazzle putting a lot of pressure onto the Centaur. He is really chewing through his regen. Not scared of the, not scared of the, of the retaliate, I guess. Have yeah, just, not at all. When did they remove the action from retaliate? Oh no! Uh, in, in the last patch, I believe. This is stun damage that on top, but so much damage that Tron is taking just from the dual break and the return. It hurts. Deep down inside. Meanwhile, on bot, Pugner is looks like oh, he could have gotten tossed if the cooldown was up. Yeah, there he's already go, got boots boy. though. I mean, look at the move speed of Pugna, 375. I mean, that is a fast, fast hero. Some heroes will never reach that move speed. I think he's going to be safe from the tiny. Spooky, speedy skeletons. And to be fair, like, all he really has is the avalanche and the follow up stun. Yeah, it's. I've got the top lane. Bit of a conference again, they're going back again on Centaur. Is this going to be a, a full committal? Dazzle's trying to escape. He's going to be okay. A lot of regen has been used in this top lane. I'm assuming they're going to be sending some more in on their couriers shortly. Every lane is playing really aggressively here. Um, we've seen so much damage being traded bot, we've seen damage being traded top, and we're also seeing some being traded mid here. We have a fight in the river. Yeah, they've used all their spells. Queen of Pain taking quite a lot of damage, hit by the Dissimulate and the Resonant Pulse. Oh, bot lane, we've got a bit of a fight. Toss have now been used. We're going on God Game, he's just going to TP out. Avalanche has been used, so he knows there's no stun and he's going to escape. It's a good yeah. play. Good play from God Gamer, as he's uh, called himself. What a God Gamer. I, no, mean, I mean, that is some confidence, right? <laughs> you've got to be bold and you've got to be brave. Well, again, we're expecting big things of you. It's Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit's kind of playing an Earth Spirit hero because it is Tiny, who is rocks. True, and I'm it's sure there's some based. magic. There's some magic making the, the rocks move like that. Yeah, most rocks don't come to life and start throwing other rocks at you, so... <laughs> He's got some kind or of Or just throwing other people at me. True. He, no matter how big the hero is, even Underlord, he can still throw you. When in doubt, Tiny Airlines to victory. <laughs> tiny, tiny Airlines is when you get tilted that they've taken your mid lane. And you just lob them into the tower. Still lots of even trading on top, but it is going pretty even both ways. They have a lot of harassment because they have the dazzle with the poison touch, but they also then just have the dual breath and the return damage. So it's going to be hard for anyone to make a real commitment. I'd like you to make a guess. Which lane are we going to see first blood in? Uh, any of us going to catch it. Yeah. But at this rate, we might not, just because this is going by very, very quickly. Something could happen anywhere. I mean, we had the Pugner and the Tiny just meet up in the river, not really do much, but you think, oh, is that going to be the first blood? But like, that's not the first blood. See them in the trade hits in a bit. Oh, is that going to be the first blood? What's the first blood? I mean, I'm literally um, moving my camera like to all three lanes about three times a second. Because I'm panicking right now. If you look, usually I look on the minimap to see the closer the heroes are together, the more likely there is to be a fight. But all the heroes are on top of each other pretty much the entire time. We take a it's look at the last hits to get a sense of what's going on. The mid lane dead even. The centaur has been claiming all the last hits he wants though. The cores, the safe lane cores, also quite even. Not really doing too much strength in the safe lane so far in terms of last hits. I mean, I think this is as close as an early game is going to get. No kills, equal farming. That Dazzle on top lane is... Oh, oh he's all right. Right. He's gotten so far. He doesn't he's have right. Grave up. Yeah, but he's got a heal, he's got some tangos. I think he'll be okay. First bounty's come out. I'm Apparently. expecting a kill now because Queen of Paint is running. Top's gonna find the Jakiro. Shadow Strike, got the ult. Jakiro could just start TPing. If he TP straight away, maybe he'd escape. He's gonna fight. Centaur's now running up too. But no, Queen of Paint doesn't have the damage by herself. So it's not going to be a kill. Same time on the bottom lane, Tiny got very, very low, chased down by the Pugna, but it didn't really end in much either. So we're back to square one. And did Queen of Pain do significant XP there? And no, just went to grab the bounty and maybe missed a little bit of a wave, but I think he's doing okay. Pretty much the same way as this almost exactly. Tiny may go down the bot lane, he's taking a lot of damage, 100 HP, 80. Versus if he throws out the avalanche, he's going to be just fine. About 40 health. <laughs> this tension is getting to me. I didn't sign up for this. Not today. Radiant I think because, you know, First Blood gives more money, it gives like a bonus gold. Everyone wants it, so everyone's playing really careful, really trying not to die. 
I think Pugna's gonna claim a courier. Yes, Radiant he will. He'll find it, but has been pop! The entire state of Hawaii has lost their courier. Ah, uh, that's a shame. It's sad reality. That's oh, peaking on top. This is gonna be the first blood. He's gonna try and deny himself with the creeps, but he was unable to. So we actually saw the first blood, and that is a nice kill onto the dazzle. I mean, now Centaur has that reliable stun ready. He talks a lot about the lockdown this, this team's gonna have. Ooh, bit of a fight, but Queen of Pain. Blinked in, uses the ult. Earth Spit's trying to TP out, doesn't quite hit. The Scream of Pain to Tiny will go back to base, but they did manage to get a kill with the ultimate. So it's now 2-1. I mean, we had no kills, and then about 30 seconds, there, there it comes. The game at full pace. As we hit our first wave of neutral items in five seconds as well, that might, that might give us a bit of a run to push as well. It might so. indeed. Oh, I just noticed something about Queen of Pain managed to use her ultimate under the effect of an arcane rune. So that very long cooldown ultimate is usually 125 seconds. It's up in 50 seconds. So that's going to be a surprise, I think. Social network won't expect it. Um, just seeing how people have been doing in the lanes. Troll Warlord has done surprisingly well in a, um, against a fairly tricky combo, especially when compared to its other safe lake of Patriot. Razor has not had the best of times now. Only 22 last hits, the lowest of any core in this game so far by over 10. I mean, other than the Razor, pretty much everyone's last hits are exactly the same, like within five or six. Or so it's been a very close game. On the bot lane, TP away. It's so gonna make a lot it. of TPs back to base. Yeah, the Underlord's gonna make it. We're, we're gonna see this, this lack of disables potentially. Actually, you know, Tiny had used both his disables, so that was the struggle there. I'm just worried about the Razor a little because Razor's one of those areas where you either get going early or you potentially just fall behind. Up. Double damage. fight in the mid lane. Do we have another astral step? We don't. He's used Five all of the spells. Now nah, they've got. Oh yeah, two seconds. But Queen of Pain has the blink in one second. Astral step, and it gets the kill. God Gamer comes in to try and defend him, but it's a little bit too late. So GH will claim a kill in the mid lane. One zero. GH has done it. It's come out of nowhere. And really, is that Jeff Bezos' face hiding the Never Ward? I think Amazon are, Amazon are onto more strategies than one here. I mean, that, <laughs> I get a banner that's really distracting and hide things behind it. I genius. mean, also, like, you could use the, the you could use the, um, clan tags, you know how OG Greek with the, um, with the banners last PI? No? Uh, well, I didn't catch that. Was it OG? Was it OG? Oh. I, well, I remember you could grief with the banners by like putting like your your icon down on the ground on like a banner, and OG would just bit of a fight bot lane. There. There's been another gank from the Queen of Pain. Not going to commit the ult. Thinking about it, no, doesn't need to. Hawaii, he's hiding in the corner. Doesn't get hit by the Queen of Pain, but will die to the Shadow Strike. So that's another successful gank for the Weeb services. No tiny to get that deny in place. And now check out the last hits. We do as much as uh, Voice Spirit's been able to get a lot of far mid and has gotten a kill over the Queen of Pain, like on the Queen of Pain. But the Queen of Pain's been roaming around for a little bit. The result of the net worth is though so fairly stronger for the uh, void. He's ahead 500 gold. Staying put, he's looking for a gank up top now. Does he want to dive under the tower? Well, uh, I mean, this has been noticed by the this has been noticed by the Dire team. They have smoked and they have noticed it on the map. They've got a ward right here, pinging it now. So they're going to be fine. I don't think they want to dive under, but the Dire, they brought two heroes as well. They've actually smoked on the Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain has his ult, uses Blink. Sonic Wave, ready to use, but doesn't want to, to waste it. There goes up the Centaur ult. They're running, but straight into the Sonic Wave. That's going to get a kill. Centaur's going to go down too, even though he does get a two-man stun. So a nice, strong double kill for the Weave services. Oh, but the same time on the bot lane, the Underlord and eaten up by the Tiny and the Razor as he was left a little bit alone in that. This has been this, is, this has been so close so far. With oh no, Hugner's got to be careful. There's 109 stolen damage on the Razor. He's going to hit very hard. There goes the Avalanche. One more right click, and he dies in the air. A mid air kill for the Razor. So actually, it's ended up being a two for two trade. Two kills for each team. My point still stands because that was a kill by the team and it was behind, so the game is still that even. Oh, it's incredibly don't, even. Don't go anywhere. I mean, we're 10 minutes in and the, the net worth difference is about 200 gold, 250 gold. So it's as close as it gets for an early game. You can see, I've just noticed the, the Dyer have warded up the holes, so the tiny is succeeding. 
There's actually quite a lot of very proactive warding around on the map here. It's caught quite a few things so far. We finally get our first neutral item, and it's a tree. Oh, the tree is great if you have a hero who can make use of it. Like the tree uh, Timber is... Saw, Wind Ranger, something like that. The tree is great. I do like having stats, but at the same time, sometimes I want to just have fun mangoes go burr. Sometimes I just want to dig up coins from the ground, and I get a tree, and it's like, oh, this is objectively the best item for me, so I can't pick up anything else now. Oh, I, I love the shovel. It's like, we're going to put the, the loot box mechanics of randomness into your actual game. Listen, Valve, you already made all the shovel um, all the shovel mechanics for the battle pass in the previous year, and they had to find a way to reuse them. Alright, <laughs> okay. The janitor we'll reused his resources perfectly there, I think. And Stampede has just come up, so they might look for a kill. Tiny has got a stun in bot. I don't think they're going to find anything, but a lot of heroes are congregating around this tower. They're kind of just having a stare off now. What were, you, what were you saying about Queen of Pain? She has kind of caught up with the Void Spirit in terms of the net worth. Still only 500 behind, but um, you know, caught up to second place in the leaderboard. That's a Void on the... Um, haste on the Void on mid. I think the Queen of Pain's going to be okay. Blink has got three second cooldown. Void doesn't quite have enough damage to completely burst a Queen of Pain solo. At least not at this stage in the game. He's going for the Yules though. That will allow him to land his Aether Remnant combo fairly straightforward. It's, it's hard because both of these heroes have really strong escapes. So what, you have to bait out the Quop um, Blink, which she's actually like get, starting to get more points in now. So that's going to work less and less. Meanwhile, you know, you have like three escapes on the Void Spirit. It's a very touchy mid. Void was able to kill that quad once, but it's a really hard combo to actually like try and get a cleave away in. Yeah, he had a double damage room, which definitely helped, and it was quite a long chase. I think once you get some blink daggers on the on the Radiant, I mean, that's what the social network will be looking to pick up, maybe on the Tiny and the Centaur, then they'll be able to pick people up more easily. So, you know, that would be a big power spike for them, definitely. What do you think the game plan is for both of these teams right now? I mean, like, w who's looking to fight right now? Who's looking to go it late? Who has the better late game potential? I would just say, from a first glance, that Weeb Services have a better late game because Troll Warlord, uh, Queen of Pain, I think, I think they're just going to scale a little bit better than the team with the Razor. But then the team of Social Network, it's got a lot of disables, and that's invaluable in the late game. So actually, I think it's very even. I don't think Both. either team should be playing specifically for the late game. I think they just need to get a power item and then look for kills. I think they all, they ha they have tempo heroes across the board here. With the, they have the Razor and the um, and the Queen of Pain, but they also have heroes like the Troll on mid lane. We tried having the fight. The Remnant was missed though, so it might not go too much further. It's just GH trying to put about put out a bit of damage against the Queen of Pain. Oh, Tiny! He stole the rune. He gets a kill. He was waiting for it. Beautiful play. Max rank Avalanche and Toss. Easy kill on the Queen of Pain. And, and the, the as well played. And oh. the well played on the all chat. That's the sort Good of manners. We like to see at the CEA. On the bot lane. Oh, Pugna has Give, ult. Giving him the suck. But he's going to be okay. Okay, I didn't want to say it. Did you there we are. It. Yeah, I didn't want to say it. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with whatever you say. <laughs> Whatever you're saying today. Oh, we pop the stampede on top. Trying to go on the dazzle. Voice spirits appeared. Look at that combo. So much damage with the double edge coming in at the same time. Unfortunately, the bounty only coming in half. Whoa! Of Queen of Pain goes straight in with the TP. Finds the centaur. Great sonic wave scream of pain combo. Earth spirit. Has he found the troll? Yes, he has. This tiny. Beautiful play. I mean, he's literally just got tranquil boots and a magic stick. And he's out there killing the pos 2, killing the pos 1. Just just incredible roaming tiny plays. Only has five last days. Doesn't care. My two spells are that strong. I think the real issue, though, is that they did miss the bounty on the Dazzle by about half a second. Oh. Oh. My battle Blech. points, man. My battle points. You don't so even we... get them in a lobby, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> we just wasted them. So we are seen here with the um, the Facebook team pulling out slightly ahead in terms of momentum. This voice spirit is really hitting He's um, really hitting the net worth quite strongly here, and the Centaur is also hitting some good backup. He already has the Hood of Defiance going very close into a Blink Dagger, and we have just lost a recipe. And quite an important recipe we just lost there. Who was that on? We lost an Atos recipe on a Courier. Underlords. Atos? Ah, Underlords right. lost an Atos recipe on the Courier. Atos is going to be really important for his team. 
on Earth Spirit, he finds another kill. Wasn't paying attention there. I mean, it was, was with the help of the Razor. Oh, he's got the Blink Dagger. So Earth Spirit picks up the Blink Dagger. Uh, that's the, the Tiny. That we're being about. Tiny? Yeah, yeah, the Tiny. Looks like there might be another fight top. We don't quite have Atos yet on Underlord, but here comes the Root Firestorm Wave, doing a lot of damage. Shakira does put down the Macrofire, trying to keep himself alive. Dazzle's committed the Grave. They're still chasing him down. He will get the kill with a Double Edge, but they will find a kill on the Jakiro. And the bounty was claimed anyway. Now, as much as um, we've seen this Radiant team come ahead just a little bit, Amazon Weep Services do have the Battle Fury on the troll in a pretty good time period, and he has just hit the jungle. Centaur has to commit Stampede to run away in the top lane, so that's a pretty long cooldown gone for them. Uh, okay, Battle Fury, I mean, that's a good timing for Battle Fury, so. He's, he's just going to hit the jungle. Yeah. He's just going to ignore everything for the rest of the, for the next 20 minutes. And we'll be back soon, kids. Come out six slotted. As it should our, be. Our second wave of neutral items just starting to drop now. Um, whereas the Radiant don't even have all their tier ones yet, actually. Need to be jungling. I mean, there's a big advantage on the Radiant now, right? Social Network have just picked up two Blink Daggers on the two heroes that matter, Tiny and Centaur. So now they've got the stuns and they've got the engage. So I think it's going to be pretty scary for the Weeb services now. And we're go we have the Yules up on the Void, and we're going straight into an early Ags for that crazy AoE silence. Why not just, you know, lock them down even more? Stop them from doing even more? Yeah, they can't move, more damage, they can't attack. And, um, it's four seconds of silence if you chain them perfectly. Pretty it insane. Is, it is a really crazy Ags. That tower on bot looking a little bit unsafe. Wonder if they're going to get that denied. Probably will. But yeah, they should look to deny that because then you get half the gold for your team. Take that's a, away from the enemy team. That's an item drop storm right there. I, I mean, be interested in seeing where those neutral items go. We'll see, I guess, in just a minute or so once they've spread those out. But oh, almost everything it? is being dropped here. Centaur dug up a creep with the shovel, you know, that little kobold, and then he killed yeah. it and dropped a neutral item. Peace. Peace. You love to see it. It's like yeah. the one silver lining on getting that little, little nasty kobold. Dirty. And he's got a Philosopher's Stone, which is nice. Nice for those supports, a little bit free gold. It looks like there's a bit of a fight mid. GH, he's going to run away because he has a haste rune. And he knows that the weave services don't have much lockdown. He, so he did catch that Pugna perfectly, and then just got surrounded by all sides by the Queen of Pain and Troll on every other side, and thought, all right, I'm going to head out, which is definitely the smart play. He has a regen in his pocket, so I think Ooh, There's a lot of TP's top. The Dire have to send pretty much everyone top. Dandalore's just baiting Earth Spirit, doing a lot of damage to Underlord's not quite enough. Sonic Wave goes out, it's doing a lot of damage. Shakira is stuck in the room. He's gonna go down, so is the Tiny. I mean, they committed their entire team here, but Void Spirit, he goes in. Trying to do what he can. And the Centaur. Underlord's trying to TP his ult out. Is he gonna do it in time? He's gonna take everyone apart from the Troll Warlord. Poor Warlord's left alone. Now the Stampede goes on top of him, and he's gonna be brought down. Will he find the kill on the Centaur first? I don't know. The use defensive yours, out to the stomp. And that's gonna be a kill. So, an that intense fight, two for two. That's, this centaur is in the right place at the right time at all times. He dived into that pit of malice, hit a double stun with his hoof stomp, and just gave Void Spirit so much space to eat up in terms of damage. He's really been making the plays count right now. And even as a pause free, his net worth is crazy, and it's just because he's making himself matter. Got that early blink. Nothing can hurt him anymore. And also, really, like, that, that Hood of Defiance? Who are you up against? A Pugna and a Queen of Pain and an Underlord? You're so well protected now, and you're already kind of inoculated against trolls inherently, so, you know, he, he is just both tanky and active. Yeah, it also helps against the double edge damage that you deal to yourself, so it allows him to be really aggressive with that move because he's pretty much using it every four seconds, which it does hurt quite a lot, as you know. So I think it's it's a good purchase there. He's doing a great job. But this Void Spirit as well, he came into a fight that was looked like it was already over and managed to find himself two fairly easy kills. So he's doing pretty well. Is he the highest level in the game? Yes, he is. GH with the level lead. Just one over the Queen of Pain. But it's still Void. something. Void to the hero to stop right now. And without too many stuns, I wonder how it will happen. Queen of Pain prioritizing the BKB, which is just about to land right now. Wow, first item BKB on the Queen of Pain. She really wants to play safe this game. That is very safe play. Uh, the Atos has finally arrived, the Underlord. Oh, going in on the Queen of Pain. She does have the BKB, so can use it if she needs to. But look, lost half her HP. It's the power of Void Spirit. And when he gets the Aghanim, ah, oh, that's why. So Queen of Pain's like, I'm behind. 
I know he's going to get Ags. Ags is really going to be difficult for me, so I'm just going to get the BKB. And I'm going to play it safe. Looks like there is a fight in the bot lane. They're going on to God Gamer. He's to crab fight himself. Keep himself alive with the life drain. I think he's just going to walk out. Never mind. Sentinel's here with the stun. Double edge. And there's going to be a kill. Sentinel does it again. Left, right, good night. There he is. I'm here for you at all times, baby. Oh, and he's going just straight for that TKP. Of course he does. What a player. We're picking on Dazzle a little bit here. He's been hit with another bounty. Yeah. It's not nice. You have to be uh, nice to our players. Well, poor Pos5 as well. 3k net worth in 21 minutes. What matters more, charity or the sweet feeling of battle points? That's true. It looks like the tower mid's going to go down. 17 HP? Oh, he'll just get the deny. Oh, no, he leaves it. They want the mid tower up for a little bit. And I will say, like, out of all things, this um, so the, this social net worth team have a de de deficit in battle pass points, so I do understand the desire. Um, yeah. Yeah, that... Are we gonna are we gonna kill that tower? We are just not. We're gonna smoke three people past it. Well, they want it so they can TP to it. it looks we like there's gonna be a bit of a rotation top. Void has oh, the but Dyer, now, they've by already the way. they've already started the fight. But Razor, he is such a fast hero. He's got Sanj and Yasha. And looks like we're going on the Dazzle. Poor Dazzle, as we said. Do we have the damage to kill him? Yes, we do, because the double silence is going to get the kill. They will claim the bounty. Try and do as much damage to Underlord, but it's not going to be enough. He will TP out. So they only lose Dazzle. So a fairly good play from the Dyer, cutting their losses where possible. So we're kind of going, this game is slowly crawling piece by piece towards towards the social net worth right now. They're slowly picking up a lot of momentum with the Void and the Centaur. The one consolation though is that Troll has stayed out of so much trouble. As you can see now, he is getting close to that Void's net worth. He has just stayed out of trouble, hitting creeps. I've got, I've got Battle Fury, but he's oh, going to have to TP he's top teeping. now. He is TPing top. There was a smoke use as well. They're going in on the Razor, but he's quite hard here to kill. Never mind, they got the double root. Queen of Pain, Sonic Wave going straight through. It's not enough damage. Stampede is used, and they're actually going to get out. Look pretty dire for them. But now Tiny goes in. Earth Spirit with the Void Spirit. Shadow Grave popped pretty early. This fight is happening two places at once. Looks like Troll Wall is trying to get into the fight wherever he can. He's just running in. Another great root Firestorm. I think the Radiant are in trouble now. Trouble has popped his ult. Shakira will go down. Sentinel to follow next. The Radiant, they still want to go in. Yeah, look at Earth Spirit. He tries to get a kill on God Gamer. It's not quite going to connect. I think he's just maybe thrown his life away. But he's baited the entire team away from him. And GH will escape using Astral Step. So uh, that's, I mean, that's exactly what the Weeb services need. They were a little bit behind. Troll Warlord's turned up, found himself a double kill. It's free real estate. Indeed. And the fight recap, that has swung about 1.8k gold right over to the Dire team. And they do, I think, in the grand scheme of things, this troll is going to scale better than what the Radiant have. Um, the Void is about their scariest late game core, and he can be a very, very scary hero. But, and it's true that this Dire team is going to need to buy a lot of lockdown, silence, and disable in order to get to him but the troll is going to naturally scale very well if he's given the room to now looking at these items queen of pain wants an mkb next yeah i just i just spotted what do you that, think about that? <laughs> this queen of pain is building like a core bkb mkb i like mkb on quop you know quop's my most played hero but i feel like this game maybe you'd want to think about something like an orchid because the lockdown is very important or maybe yules to keep yourself safe but you know, they've got, like you said, I agree with you completely. Troll is strong. Troll is going to scale better. He's just picked up a basher. Maybe she's thinking, yeah, I'm just going to become a core as well and we're going to take it late. So, you know, power to her. See what happens. Especially if you, you know, they're probably asking around their team, how are you doing, Troll? The Troll's going better than ever. He has just become the number one <laughs> net worth thanks to those bounty runes. It inspires some confidence. Game paused. This is the important moment. Important. Who's going to catch some of these Meepos? No one's playing the Meepo game. What a disgrace. We can't even play these casters. That's the, Put it away. the problem. That Somebody... game was fun the first uh, six times, <laughs> then <laughs> never again. I'm still a Hero Hunt fan. Oh, yeah, me too, man. I love Hero Hunt. The only one I'll stop and play. <laughs> Trying to encourage them. There we go! Oh, there we go. In. Straight Underlord, away. Underlord, our Meepo champion, but Dazzle sure came close. Uh, it, was a, it was a close game. See, if they can't win the early game, Amazon um, Weeb services, they can win the Meepo game.
The reconnect is here. The real victory. You should get one gold if you win the, the mini game. It's like a little tiny. <laughs> tiny That's a reward. treat. Yeah. All right. I think we're about to resume play. Both teams are alive. Every ultimate is ready. And the teams are very close together, both in the opposing team's jungle. So I'm hoping something's going to happen. We've got a bit of drawing on the map, maybe signifying something. Okay, unpausing. Maybe a tower trade? Or do you think one team will TP back? They might. The thing is, this is a trade that goes towards the Radiant's advantage if they do this, because it has the Roshan advantage. So I mean, like, Ooh, I just don't, point. I just don't know if these teams could, they, they could commit though. I think both teams are scared of fighting each other, and they will just have to Radiant's take it. Okay, trade for trade. Oh, we're gonna go actually to high ground. Weep services are saying, yeah, we're really gonna force you back now. It's interesting because they don't actually. No, never mind. I was about Radiant's to say they don't actually have a great pushing team, attack. and I saw the Pugna. So don't listen. Pugna and troll. Oh wow, that's great. Just goes straight in. Troll Wall has committed to his ult. He'll take out the Tiny. He's running forwards. Nice root from the Underlord. But, oh, he doesn't get a bash or a root and slap himself very deep inside the base. And he is going to be taking down the curses of his ultimate and the uncontrollable nature of it. I noticed oh. the disarming on the Troll because there is the Halberd on the Razor. Came out nice and early. Maybe a bit Ooh. too early actually in that fight. But yep, he has it. He has his anti troll weapon. Oh, poor Dazzle. He couldn't find his way out and he's going to be taken down as well. So yeah, the Heaven's Halberd is out on the Razor. He took the Sergeant Yasha and disassembled it into a Halberd. Quite a nice item transition. So he's not going for Manta. Usually you turn the Yasha into a Manta, but he's saying, no, 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 Yasha's fine. I'm now going to go MKB. MKB is just a bit too good, dare I say it. Oh yeah, no, no. I 100% agree can we, can, we, can, we, can, we, can we nerf that item? It's meant to be a specialty item. What have yeah, we I done? want to make them more specialty. Ah, oh, Queen of Pain just blinking out there. I'd like to see it more specific to its purpose, which is to counter evasion, rather than being this item does a absolute ton of damage against everything. Which is kind of what it was. Unfortunately, um, the janitor is probably not watching. Oh no, but well, Icefog does the balancing. His, that's his problem. Are you this really going to try and chase exci- down an Underlord? This, He's going to see the most exciting place to be on a Saturday. So that's his problem. <laughs> yeah, true. See you, Underlord. Heaven's Halberd got a nerf, but it's still being picked up a lot. And same with MKB. I feel like those items may get tuned down again in a future patch, but we'll just have to see. And two of the most legend, two of the best tier threes, the repair kit and the spider legs. I don't care what anyone says, I love my boy repair kit. I do. 25 health it. regen. It's ridiculous, that item. Heal those like towers. People underestimate the stats on it, right? Yes, it heals your tower. That's great. It's really good. But 25 health regen, that is a ton. It's like a free heart of Tarrasque. Not with the HP, of course, but I love that component of it. Put it on a centaur, double his health regen, sure. All game, the Amazon team have been ahead on neutrals. Um, in fact, they're on three out of four. And meanwhile, the Facebook team don't just don't have one. They just they don't have any tier three neutral items. Well, they're too oh, busy smoking I into the jungle. Up. Not, if they no. just find a Dazzle, it's going to no be sad, dazzle. Right? No, that's it's, perfect. That's perfect, it's too actually. Soon for you. If they only get Dazzle, that's going to be a really good pickoff. I mean, like, for, for the Dire's sake, right? If they lost someone important, <laughs> like if they lost the Troll Warlord or the Queen of Pain, it would have been a problem. But just losing Dazzle, I mean, he's so low level. He'll be back in 30 seconds. That's the best you can hope for, really, if is you're the Dire. To get, is this starting to get a little sad to beat him, though? Well, it's for the cause, isn't it? You just have to throw your life away sometimes. And if you tank no. a smoke gank, it's fine. Nothing bad ever happens to the support. Oh, God Gamer, they're going on in bot. They've got a lot of damage and they will take him down. I heard an Orchid actually on GH. Oh, he's hiding with the Glimmer Cape. But he is going to go down still. Interesting yep. that he's gone Orchid. He went Aghanims and then he went Orchids. So that is a lot of silence. And he's taking the Astral Step recharge time instead of the spell out. Yeah, that's pretty standard um, on most Void Spirits because you just want to do as much Astral Step as possible. But sometimes you want the damage. It sort of depends, I guess. Are there any really interesting talent choices you see across this game or has everything been about path? Of course, I'm looking around trying to yeah, work something out. I'm not seeing I'm not seeing much. I think it's I, pretty much everything seems fairly standard to me right now. Uh, like yeah, I would agree. invading this dire jungle again. Let's go. But we're not even going to fight no. Dazzle this time. No, he's, yeah. Uh, he's 
completely in the other place actually, it's in the, in the Radiant Jungle. Look how many wards are on the Radiant Jungle. Oh, looks like we've rooted the Razor, rooted him again, Pits of Malice, but he's a fast hero. Look, he just immediately walks away. Oh, he did go for Manta. Okay. I mean, imagine you get the Salt of Yasha, you can turn it then into two wonderful items that you really like. It's such a beautiful transition, and then he has gone for the hood himself. So he's following, I mean, obviously Centaur kind of wants the hood himself, but it's following the same sort of trend that realizing there's a lot of magic on this other team. Really, once you dealt with the troll with your Halberd and your Static Link, all you have to deal with is magic damage now. Pick up that lovely little magic resistance and shields, and you're really safe to just stand in the middle of team fights. Yeah, it was a big buff to the item when they gave even the Hood of Defiance has a barrier because it used to be just pipe. It looks like Sentinel's actually committed for a full BKB, so he really wants to avoid all this magic damage. Which is fair enough, that's quite a lot. You can't dodge Queen of Pain's ultimate. It's always going to hit you. If that's the only damage you take though? Yo, Queen of Pain's had to BKB in the mid lane, doing a bit of damage to the Centaur, pops the ult. Scream of Pain, it's not going to quite be enough damage to get Centaur. And decides to go away, but here comes the yours. Yeah, Ether Remnant, no BKB. Nice game of hit from the team Centaur. Stampede's in, looking for the stun. He's going to save it. He's trying to go on the Dazzle. I don't think he'll get it. Dazzle pops a 20 stick charge and nice TP out. I blink dagger out in the center. But GH, he's just straight back in. Oh, just misses Dazzle. Dazzle's going to get away with Glimmer Cape. That's all right. They, they, oh, who, who found him? He had the Orchid, and he'd taken him definitely enough oh, damage. All right. Okay, but killing the Troll Warlord, I mean, that's the big thing. Tiny went straight in, Avalanche Toss combo, and they brought down the most important hero, the Troll Warlord. That's a minute where he can't farm. So that's pretty good. Oh, now, they, they now, might just start running towards these towers. The Queen of Pain, they know the ult is down. What can they really do other than a couple of Firestorms and uh, never well, pass? I mean, that's almost enough. Pushing into Underlord is so irritating. They've got Liquid Fire with the extra attack range, so you can put it they on the tower. Have, they do have all the destruction set up, they will attack that up on the Chikiro. tower. No, he wants to put the ward up. He's now going to Liquid Fire the tower from very long range. You've got Tiny, that's a bit of bonus damage. This Razor's just sitting on the high ground. Okay, I think they're a little bit scared. They're like, they want to push the tower, but it's so hard to push into Underlord at this stage. So I think they're going to have to back off. We're seeing some we're seeing some bounty retaliation, but interestingly putting it on the plus one. I mean, he is four and two. He does seem killable. Um, we have not killed the Void Spirit all game yet. He's the only deathless oh. hero. Eight and O. Oh. Eight and O. Oh. What a great game he's had. You just love to see it when you pick a spirit hero and start snowballing. They I feel like we're all snowball heroes, aren't they? Yeah, we f I feel like as much as you love saying the player names, as much as it's a respectful thing to do, I think we need to ban the use of saying Earth Spirit this game. I don't yeah, think that's it's helping I'm not, anyone. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to say it at all. <laughs> but then we've not even said PhD, pursue happiness directly. That's just a life lesson, if anything else. Well, that's a lie. If you do a PhD, you are not pursuing happiness directly. You are <laughs> pursuing many long, long, frustrating hours of trying to get your research finished. So maybe he's just uh, trying to convince himself Dyer's PhDs are worth it. Oh, that attack. Dazzle Kira is just going to immediately kill. I feel bad for this Dazzle. Even though he's playing fine and he's doing his job, he, ha oh. he is. The they are trying to go on Void Spirit. They've got him in the root. They've got another root, the Atos as well. Is it enough damage to kill him? Yes, it is. Now that is a big kill. We just talked about him having not died the entire game. And now they bring down the eight kill streak. 700 gold going to the Queen. You see what, you see what he hasn't done is go for a BKB. He's looking for a Lotus next. Yeah, well, so... Lotus is a very odd item for a Void Spirit core, but I guess he just I wants to dispel stuff. To do. It's the purge, but yeah. BKB is surely just a BKB. I mean, I would take that out any day. Mm, me too. Went travels, which is interesting. Oh, oh no, Queen of Pain, you're a little bit out of position there. Here is waiting for you, Earth Spirit. Is he going to blink in? Who's going to go first? No. Queen of Pain actually manages to get out. They waited a little bit too long and devoid an all TP to the top tower. While the troll on his team, Slap, is doing exactly that, slapping the Roshan. He has the Paladin installed, so he has the lifesteal to just oh, back through this. I think the Dyer no, but there's no way they're catching that in time, especially with Troll ju with the Dazzle jumping in with the medallion. Oh, they no found Razor. Do they have the damage to kill them? Giving him the life drain, but no, they don't. Stampede, they're going to run away. Earth Spirit just runs up. Oh, Earth Spirit, the Tiny just runs yeah. in. Immediately tosses the Troll Wall, but it's too late. He's already picked up the Aegis, and I think Tiny is going to go down now. Oh, that Blink! How does he find the Blink? Yules blinks himself, but oh, the, the first, first hit, man. 
Of course, I think he was dead anyway, let's be honest. Oh, actually, maybe not. Did they have any other way to cancel it? They could have used Pit of Malice from the Underworld. They, um, he was hit by an Atos while bashed as well, so... Okay, okay. It was all then. coming down. So, he was not going to make it out, let's be honest. They may do with their lack of drafted disables quite well. I agree, yeah, and they didn't, you know, Queen of Pain has gone for this Black King Bar, Monkey King Bar build, but has actually made use of the clumsy net, so it's kind of like a mini Atos. And he's been looking for the Hex next. More Full fun. BKB on the troll, look at that. So we're looking for even more lockdown, they've compensated very well, they're going to be getting that side of Vise well at, at this rate. We're looking for a Shiva on the Underlord. Okay. Um, a abyssal, abyssal on the troll. Looking for a pike on the razor. And yes, Void is going to commit to the BKB now. Okay, good. I think that will help him out a lot in these fights. I mean, he's still very high on the net worth. He's only, what, 1,100 away from the troll? So he's still doing very well. Radiance top tower is under attack. And now Pugna finally looking for this, this tier 1 top tower. This is gonna be this is gonna be a nice free tower, even though Razor is slightly Razor interested. <laughs> he Razor's interested, but he's not gonna join in. Oh, there's smoke from the die, they're running in, they found Jacoby, four stars for himself, Grace got glimmer as well. Ether Remnant gonna hold slap in place. So they're they're gonna be okay, not gonna find a kill there. But they will start pushing that tier two tower, and I don't think there's a lot that the social net worth can do about it. Now piling down onto one more tower. The glyph has been refreshed, but that won't do much. And in fact, my pub teammates would have used it there, but thankfully they did not use it there. That <laughs> bounty about to expire on the razor. Poor use of your bounties, people. Ooh, nice macropire gone down, but they've used the glyph, offensive glyph on two catapults. The retaliatory glyph, though, troll stuck up. Uh, he's going to be okay. Like He's got the Aegis. He's still got his BKB. There's two catapults here. They need to keep those catapults alive. Unfortunately, one took the aggro of the tower. And Pugna, he can just be spamming that Nether Blast. It does about 200 damage each time it hits. Okay, Centaur's gone in. There's the blink. GH has gone in too, but he's immediately rooted. He has to use himself for safety. Slap is going to go down. Nope, he gets graved. So he's actually going to be fine. They've taken down GH. Is he going to buy back? Yes, he buy back straight away. He's going to run back into the fight. Slap is just healing himself so much. Being healed by the Pugna, GH goes straight back in. He's going to take the Aegis, but then he's going to come back with his BKB already swapped in. Underlord's thinking, yeah, actually, we've had enough of this, and we're just going to be out of there. And that's it. That is a real peace sign fade out moment there from the Underlord. They really got what they wanted. Very lovely little tower there. Well, one kill and, and a buyback, and they lost nothing. So, I mean, looking yeah, at this team play. difference in team net worth graph really says everything about what's been happening as this dire team has started to really hit their scaling peak and retreating back to the base of the jungle as the next wave of neutral items hits. The final this wave we are going to get for a while as well. This team are so on top of the neutral items. Like, as soon as they're up, they immediately start getting them. And that is a horn on the troll. Beautiful. Uh, Two capes. capes. I wonder both if he teams. takes a cape, to be honest. Both, both teams have a cape. It's a good uh, item, but I wonder he'll take it. GH, you've got to be careful. There goes the Atos on you. You've got yours. Oh, Earth Spirit, he throws him away. That's a nice play. Is it going to be a follow-up? I don't think so. Oh, no. Peter Pain just went straight in. Pops the BKB. Starts right-clicking the Jakira mercilessly. A lot of damage coming out from the MKB. Blinks in again. Finds Earth Spirit. This Queen of Pain, so aggressive. Not scared of going in because of the BKB. That's the second kill. And the die, they've got a lot of momentum here. He's going to disseminate away. Okay, use of the halberd. Abyssal isn't up yet. He's got the money for it, but he still needs to send it to himself. So I've never seen this before, but Dazzle didn't take a level 10 talent and then just took a 15. Oh, I do that a lot. Yeah, I've, I've never done that seen before. it. You can do it. The game doesn't, oh, yeah. it doesn't look like it supports it, but it is possible. <laughs> now 7k. You can, if you prioritize your abilities, right? Then, and you yeah. don't want to take a talent, you can do it. It's possible. 7k advantage on this Hermit um, team, and they're going to go in again. Okay, yeah, there is the engage. They're trying to kill the Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain doesn't for BKB. He's going to pop it in time. Yes, he is. And now I don't think they can take him down. Razor, he is trapped out of position. No, he's going to be fine. Gets hate tossed again. Nope, lots of four stuffs. But Slap, look, he is far in the enemy base. He's just going to walk out. He does manage to dodge the ice pass just about. 
and it looks like no one died. But Sendor, he goes straight back in, gets the two-man stun, but I don't think the Radiant have enough HP to fight this. Abyssal Blade is used, but he is immediately disarmed. Good disarm, but look how low the Radiant are. The Tree Volley, though, actually finds a kill on the Queen of Pain. There was a buyback from the Centaur. Slap, he's pretty low being healed by the Pug now. Look at God Gamer giving Slap a lot of HP. What a God Gamer! Tiny, he's gonna go down. I don't think there's any way he can escape here. It's still in the die's favor. There was a buyback from the Centaur, but it is now three versus four. As long as Pugner is alive, time. this is going to be very easy for them to keep pushing. And the ward's down as well. Yeah, it's going to be hard. Look, Raze is running in, gets rooted yet again. Nice four star. Centaur gets a two man stun. They are taking a lot of damage. The Abyssal Blade has been used onto the Razor. They're doing a lot of damage to him. He mantis away. He's a very fast hero, so he will be fine. Slap couldn't quite get the bash. But they are taking the Rax. Finally, the Rax is going to go down. So Dyer, the first one to put a rack on support. Another stun from the Centaur. Look at this. He has gone in. Rave used very early just in case. We're now chasing the Razor. Can we get a bash from him with a Dyer decide they need to leave? Never mind. Another four star. Oh, it's a Dragon Hurricane Pike. And now the Centaur pops his BKB. Look how much damage this Underlord has. He has 500 damage. He is attacking very fast. And I think now they need to leave. He's got no mana to ult. He's waiting a little bit. Has the mana. Is he going to ult away? Yes, he is. And they're like, I'm out of here. Thanks for the racks. Do, do map sprays work like that? They sprayed the loser over the barracks. Oh my <laughs> god, I need to start using these things more. <laughs> yeah, I don't really use my sprays. Maybe I should. I should find them. But like, it was on top of the barracks. That was, that was weird. I just sent He did and, so yeah. many stuns that fight, is what, what I saw, but they just don't yeah. have the damage to yeah. push on to, to the obsessors. This dire team really scales stronger. They had the troll, and troll is just hitting his points. And the Queen of Pain has straight up surpassed the KD of the Void Spirit. A kill ahead, two assists ahead, and the same amount of deaths. A pure swing. Oh, they have lobbed the Underlord, Yggdrasil, into the enemy team. Do they have the damage to kill him? He is pretty tanky. Tree Body goes out as well, and the Macrofire. <laughs> Look how tanky he is. <laughs> he only loses half the GH is now going in. They are really trying to bring him down. And I think they might do another stun comes out from the Centaur. We've got the Ice Path as well. Queen of Pain ult goes through. GH is fairly low. Earth Spirit, he's ready with his combo. Does the full combo straight into the Tree Body, but Queen of Pain manages to blink out. But Slap, he is doing a lot of damage. Can he take up the Centaur? Stampede has been used. Slap, he's in his ult, so he doesn't have much control. Can they bring down the Jakira? No, nope. he's just about going to escape. No, he doesn't. The poison it does it, but... So it looks but there, like there was a buyback, does... though. Do you see the buyback? Yeah, from the Underlord. So who wins that? What's the fight recap say? I think... Oh, the, the Radiant do come ahead in that fight by about a K gold. Due to the buyback. Okay, but but at the moment it still means there are five Dire Heroes alive and only four Radiant, so that gold may not be that significant. Like, as but, much as much as Razor is only 2k behind the um, Troll, it doesn't even really matter because he's a Razor and he's up against the Fed Troll. You know, it's all just going to start going wrong, I think, from this point. We have the Hex up on the Queen of Pain. Yeah, she's pretty strong. She's got the Martyr Horn as well as the BKB. And the Tower pushing. He's gonna try, but... We've got one level 25 hero, and it's Maybe Troll Wall. He's gone for Battle Trance, Strong Dispels. There's so a lot to dispel, dispels. all the roots. That's true. Okay, he's starting to hit the barracks. They've used the glyph. There's now no tier three towers alive for the social network. It's gonna be tricky for them now. They're actually still a kill ahead, if you can believe that. And Troll is gonna getting that Manta anytime soon now. He has the gold saved up and ready. He needs just a little bit more gold if he wants to save a buyback as well. We're looking for another Hex on the team for Pugna, and who's back? Roche is back. Troll can get these uncontested. This game has swung, and it's starting to swing out of control, in my opinion. This is getting really, really uncomfortable. Um, they are going to try to smoke. They are aware of what's going on. Oh, it looks like they're engaging. They're onto the Queen of Pain, but Queen of Pain's popped the BKB, doing a lot of damage. Sonic Wave's gone through. GH, he's just rooted. He can't really get any damage up. He's trying his best now. He's gone to God Gamer, but he's going to be okay. Queen of Pain is just bullying the Centaur. Roche has now been taken, so now Troll's going to walk into the fight with his... He's using the Abyssal Blade straight away. He's got the Aegis as well. He's going to take down GH. That's the biggest kill. There's no buyback. Shakira's going to go down next. Hawaii, the Razor, he's being chased by this Troll Ward in BKB. He's trying his best. He's a very fast hero. But with that many heroes chasing you, I don't think you're going to escape. Or maybe... No. Another pit of Malice reaches. And it's going to be three kills. Look at that wave in the bot lane. Here come the boys. I 
think this might be game. She's got it worse and worse. We're 17k down now. That was another fight that swung almost 4k gold and just 10k XP for free as a treat. It just comes. The team now running down mid. We're only one buyback and it's on the Razor. And it's going to be Megas. Yeah, last set of racks. And I think that's probably going to be game. We're still watching 43 seconds. This is, this is really a game about keeping up your confidence, even after falling down to like a 9-0 and oh, snowballing, um, snowballing Void Spirit. Just keep your confidence in place and let your carry do his thing. He has paid back the goods. He's still got Aegis, so they I were... don't think... He, he just start hitting the towers, I would say. They don't have to be too scared. They've still got 20 seconds where it's 4 versus 5, but it looks like they're still going to go defensive. They just, they just want, they just want us to be happy and continue casting. Well, there is the level up. That's going to speed things up a little bit wow. on the next push, I think. There's so little left to level, to be honest. I think it's, I think it's pretty hard for the social network at this point. Let's be honest. I mean, maybe they might try a fun smoke gank, see if they can get some pickups. Defending the I'm, base is going to be a challenge. No money for Raytheon. No, nah, that would be a kids. last ditch attempt. Good Cent item on, on Earth, uh, yeah. not Earth Spirit, Void Spirit. Good item on Void Spirit. Centaur's gonna try and pick up another Halberd to try and double lock the troll, but. He is indeed. I'm not sure if it's enough. 25k now. Someone zoom in on that net worth graph. That is pure sadness. Because it was a huge swing for the Radiant early, and now it's just nothing. It's yeah, just gone. The late game was just too strong on the die. Data pl Dota Plus is 100%. One of those Isn't... days. Oh dear. Gabe Newell himself, the janitor, was watching. He knows this is the most fun place to be on a Saturday. And he said, yes, it's over, son. Well, Troll looking for a Scardy now as a final item, just in case he needs it. I mean, if we look at the buybacks, there's only two on the dire. So if miraculously there's a five-man team wipe for the social network, then maybe they can push something up. We're going to have to see. But they've got a lot of towers to work through and a glyph. I think it might be hard. They've now got to kill Megas, which are very strong creeps. Over a 1,000 health each. They're taking out the last buildings now. Shrines are going down. Ooh, I, think they're just I just well. noticed that Troll actually has the alternate attack effect. Now yeah, that's what I think. That's flexing. The Dazzle has it too. I think a couple of people have it. That's what you get for being 2k. I do have a Roshan statue. Unfortunately, not on me today to flex. Otherwise, oh. you know I would have. I want to see one final fight. Come on, guys. If you're not calling GG, that means you want to play. There's a root. We're doing a lot of damage. Voice Pit has already been killed, so it's a 45 straight off the bat. I think now it's a little bit tricky. Look how many creeps there are. Each melee creep has 100 damage. Last tier 4 is going to go down, and I have to expose the Ancient. It didn't even be used to level up. By slap. There's your no GG need. call. GG. A great Am game. Amazon Weep Services jumped to 2 0 on the season, whereas the Social Network might just have to play themselves a loser, ne loser next week. A great game played by both sides, indeed. I mean, that game was really close for a very long time. I mean, uh, when we get to when we see the post game screen, which we can see now, let's look at the um, the net worth graph. It's it's very slight lead for the social net worth. 30 minutes, 40 at minutes, time, a bit more of a lead. At the time, it was a meaningful lead. It was like 4 or 5k, and you were like, damn, this is good. But it's just the sheer scale of the loss after that point just wipes it off the face of the planet. It's a very well fought game by both teams. They both had a game plan. They both played their hearts out. I still love that centaur. We were singing his praises early game and I must continue to do so because when he needed to play, he made it matter. But the cause didn't scale in the same way, unfortunately. Yeah, and I actually like the way that the maybe the Queen of Pain, um, Devoidin, was thinking. Okay, they don't really have many cores, so we're just going to outscale to late game. So I'm not going to go for that standard Queen of Pain, but Aghanims, Orchid, etc. I'm going to get MKB, I'm going to get a Daedalus, I'm going to get a BKB. I'm just going to right click you. And, you know, that Queen of Pain did so much hero damage, by far the most in the game. So, you know, it was a really good decision.
So, Amazon Web Services going up to 2-0, and oh, looking strong on the season. They're playing for Doctors Without Borders, I've been told. Looking to try and raise that beautiful money. Any call for an MVP? Because I would have given it to Centaur halfway through the game, but then it stops being that. I think he actually performed really well even into yeah. the late game. There was a yeah. team fight that he lost, but even in that team fight that he lost, he had so much impact getting non-stop two or three man um, hoop stomps off. So I, I think he definitely deserves it. Even though he may have lost the game, he definitely performed he, well beyond expectations. He was incredible all game, but I can't, I, I can't in my heart give it that way. I would, as a position one player, as the person that runs away into the jungle for half an hour, and um, I, I do, I'm a big fan of that troll. He did exactly what he needed to. His team was behind, but he got this anyway. Quick battle fury, quick farm, he, quick Aegis is exactly on the timing. Every little timing thing for him, he put his team in the place he needed, even if it wasn't flashy. I, w I, I would, I, I would I'd give it easily to the troll, but then as a pos one player, maybe I'm biased. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, I'm actually a pos two player, pos three player myself. So um, I think that's fair. Troll ward for Amazon Web Services and the center will run it for social net worth. Well, next week there'll be more plenty of fun. There's two more teams facing up against each other. We don't know quite who it's gonna be yet, unfortunately, so I can't quite give you that endeavor, but whoever calls the shots on the stream, no doubt is gonna make it a fun one. Any last things to say before we close out for the evening? Not really, just thanks for watching guys and hope you enjoy some good Dota next week. I'll have to say the same shout out to my boy Red, but for anything else, um, see you in next week, mid midday Pacific time, for another round of the CEA Dota 2 Four Championships. Thank you for watching. A pair of jeans, a shirt or two We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back It doesn't matter if it's true I've got a feeling love will give us what we like The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond our door yeah. And if it's not enough I want to see the stuff the world has got in store oh, I want to take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night, want to catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures forever When I can hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights Tomorrow feels a year away Like the seconds, the beginning and the end uh -huh. But if in time it's yesterday Your picture's gonna bring it home to me again The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond our door oh. And if it's not enough I want to see the stuff the world has got in store I want to take it on and I'm falling The cityscape by night, want to catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures forever When I can hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights I never